Welcome back to Business Lunch on CNBC TV 18. And let's move on and let's put the focus on the government's internship scheme. Now, sources are telling CNBC TV 18 that the major tweaks, including an expansion of the scheme, may be likely soon. Shivani is here to give us more details on that front. Shivani. Sources have told CNBC TV 18 that the government is planning significant changes to its flagship internship scheme to make it more inclusive and effective. One of the key proposals by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs is expanding the scope of participating companies. Now, currently, remember, uh, it is limited to the top 500 firms. The program now could see inclusion of top 1,000 companies. Additionally, banks and financial institutions are likely to join the program, creating a broader pool of opportunities for interns. Also, uh, another big change that can happen is the eligibility criteria. Uh, the age limit may be revised from the current 21 to 24 years to 18 to 26 years. Educational qualifications too could see a relaxation at present students pursuing degrees or those without a high school diploma are excluded, but the new rules might allow them to participate, attracting a wider range of applicants. Now, these changes aim to make the scheme more accessible uh, to more people, aligning with the government's goal of building a skilled workforce and enhancing uh, employability. Now, remember that the pilot project of the internship program was launched uh, on December 2nd. According to the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, the first cohort of uh, interns hailing from 625 districts is now interning across 34 states and union territories in India. The internship portal, uh, sources suggest, has already received over 6 lakh registrations. Sources also say that these changes come on the back of lessons learned from the registrations of the pilot project and are likely to come into effect only after the pilot project is over. Back to you. Thank you so much uh, for that update there, Shivani. But let's uh, move on to some national updates.